Seventh grade science crew. Seventh grade science crew. Science rules. exactly is an air mask you may ask an air mask is a large body of air that has the same temperature and humidity there are five major air masses you have the continental polar the continental arctic the maritime polar the maritime tropical and the continental tropical so i'm sure you're wondering how these air masses get their names well it's from the locations that they originate from and they follow high pressure systems and we're going to show you a map of what these systems look like. Air masses impact our weather every single day. They can bring arctic weather in from the poles and it's going to be really really cold and they can also bring in major heat waves during the summer. I notice more of the polar weather when we're in winter, and you also might notice more of the warmer heat waves during the summer. Oh my gosh, y'all, it is so hot down here in the continental tropical air mass. I'm really chilling in Los Cabos right now, over here in Mexico with my little bit of water. So, you know, this air mass, it forms over the desert, really. Um, in southwest or northern Mexico, Cabo to be exact, one of the places at least, you know. Whew, sorry, the air is like super dry so I really can't breathe. Whew, lordy, I think I might be melting into my tube here. So, uh, you know, the continental tropical, <laughs> the continental tropical air mass brings record heat in the summer, like the hottest summers you can ever think of, guys. Like, that's why I've been in this pool all day. I don't even wanna get out. I feel like when I get out, I'm gonna be all shriveled up like a raisin, but it's gonna be okay, because I'm gonna be cool, calm, and collected. Here. Whoa. Well, I was just scuba diving and uh, getting out of the water was so cold because this maritime polar air mass came in and it is freezing and it's moist and it's it's found in the northern Atlantic and in the Pacific Ocean so I mean today I'm I'm up here in Canada a eh, in Canada a eh, and uh, it's freezing because of this cold moist air coming in and and it's really cloudy and it's really wet outside and it's perfect for scuba diving Hey guys, this is Miss Moore coming to you live from the Arctic Circle where our continental Arctic air masses are coming from. I just want to give you all a little information on them. They're extremely cold temperatures, which is why I am trying to wrap up as tight as possible here. And there's very little moisture around me. And like I said, this is originating from the Arctic Circle and most likely to reach us in the United States during our winter months. So hopefully by then you have all of your lovely fluffy jackets and all of that stuff so that we can... Hey guys, Miss Moore. I'm here to let y'all know that it's a nice pleasant day outside. It's a little chilly um, and that might be because of our continental polar air masses that are coming in. Um, these air masses are cool and dry. They're not as cold as our Arctic one, Arctic air masses that I was telling you about before where I was up in the Arctic circle. They're not as cold as them, but they are cold. And the dominant, when they're really, really around is during the winter time. Um, they can bring clear and pleasant weather during the summertime um, in the northern parts of the U.S. So catch you guys later on the slope. Hey y'all, Miss Cousins coming to you live from the Florida Keys. Let me tell you about this air mass we got coming in. 
It is Maritime Tropical, and I don't know if you have made the connection yet, but Maritime means water. And Tropical means warm. So we're coming close to the equator. And in this case, whew, this warm and moist air mass here in the Florida Keys. Ooh, I am sweating all this humidity. Ugh, well, it comes from the equator and places like the oceans and the Gulf of Mexico. So, I will be out here trying to keep cool and get this sweat under control. Y'all go do your work now. Say more. Yes. What did the sports car say to the wind? I don't know what. Let's go first. <laughs> why did Iron Man sleep in the rain? I don't know why. So he could get some rust. <laughs> Miss Moore, yes. You know it used to be free to fill your tires with air. Really? Now it costs a dollar fifty cent. No. That's crazy, that right? Is, that is crazy. That is true. I had to do it the other day. Talk about inflation, man. <laughs> <laughs> Miss prevailing westerlies walking down the catwalk showing off her umbrella and her nice inner tube those winds are constantly bringing tsunamis and she's prepared next up is miss jetstream as usual going in and out of the stratosphere and the troposphere with those wavy winds separating that warm and cool air she continues to wave around the globe as jets whisk that they could trap, get caught in her stream and go really fast. Looking good. To be continued next month. Seventh grade science crew. Seventh grade science.